in this video, I uh, want to give a short uh, explanation of some aspects of Easy EML's collaboration features that might create confusion in uh, particular circumstances and uh, how you can avoid that. The I'm assuming that you are familiar with Easy EML and with the collaboration features in Easy EML. Uh, if, if you have questions in the user guide, there are sections submitting your package to EDI and collaborating with others in Easy EML that describe the use of the collaboration features. And in this video, um, we're going to be talking about the, the issues that are described in this section, avoiding confusion when using collaboration features. So looking at the Collaborate page, a thing to notice is that a package is designated by the combination of its name and the owner. It is entirely possible for, multi for different owners to each uh, have a package with the same name. They are not, in fact, the same package. So what is it meant by the owner? Well, the the owner is the easy EML user, the easy EML account in which the package was created. And that is the account under which the package resides. And on the um, easy EML server, each user has a file storage area. And the, in this case, the uh, files for the associated with the package by the name of collaboration test live in the file storage area of a user called user one. If some other user has a package by that same name, collaboration test, the files for that package, that version, would live in the file storage area of that other user. They would be completely separate, different, distinct files that have nothing to do with each other. Now, in this particular case, uh, this example, what we have here is there is a package by the name of collaboration test owned by user one, and user one has invited user two and user three to collaborate using the uh, invite colleague feature, and they've accepted that invitation, so that collaboration has been established. And user one has also submitted the package to EDI, establishing a, a collaboration with the EDI data curation team, a group collaboration. So these three entries here are not referring to three, three different packages. In each case, the package name and owner are the same. These are in fact the same package. What we're looking at here are three collaborations involving that package. One of user one with user two, one of user one with user three, and one of user one with the EDI data curation team. If some other user had a collaboration test package and uh, was, it, it was participating in, in a collaboration with user one, say, then there's the opportunity for confusion because you, you could have multiple collaboration test packages with different owners. So the, the upshot is that if you are collaborating with somebody, you do not want to make copies of the package in your account. Use the, the whole point of collaboration is that it lets you edit the version that is in the owner's account. You get access to their file storage area. Making copies only invites confusion. Now let's suppose that user one decided to invite user four to join, uh, to be a collaborator. And user four actually happens here. So I'm switching it to a different browser. I'm logged in here as user four. And user four happens to already own a package called collaboration test. This is a different one. This is user four's collaboration test package. And let's say I've uh, issued an invitation to user four using the, the normal invite a collaborator feature. 
and user four is going to accept that invitation. Uh, and user four received the invitation email and and the um, invitation code happened in this case to be this. He accepts they accept the invitation. Okay, now what happened? Here we see that the collaboration is actually established. Easy EML lets, lets it go ahead, but it issues a, a warning. It says that you own a package with the same name as the one you're being invited to collaborate on. This often indicates some confusion about how collaboration is meant to be used. You may want to contact EDI support for assistance. And if we go back and look at uh, user one's collaborate table now, we see that user four is there. But uh, and if, well, first user four is user four is there, but the collaboration is with respect to the version of the collaboration test package that is owned by user one. User four's version is not part of this collaboration. And that's why it, it can be confusing if a collaborator also owns a package by that name. They uh, they may feel like their version is being modified in this collaboration, but it's not. So bottom line, pay attention to the combination of package name and owner. And as collaborators do not make copies of the package being collaborated on, the collaboration feature lets you work directly with the owner's version. Now for 99% of the time, these issues won't come up. You don't ordinarily have packages of the same name um, among dis distributed among collaborators, but it has uh, occurred at times. And so I wanted to make this video hoping to clarify some of these issues. So pay attention to owners and you should be okay. And with that, I'll stop.